How to use the auto selecting in Practicad. Practicad offers you the ability to quickly and easily grab a hold of any entity in the software based upon any condition that exists in Practicad. It is very important to watch these tutorials first before you decide to design any other automatics in the software. Virtually every automatic in the software will have a selection criteria and that selection criteria is very similar to what you're going to go through in these videos. So by watching these videos first it'll make it easier to work with automatics such as takeoff or tagging. In order to run any auto selecting automatic the first thing you need to do is go to the auto selecting icon in the automatics panel on the Practicad ribbon. When we enter here, Practicad will open up the selection window and you will notice we have three tabs currently, parameters, selection, and conditions. We're going to start by going over the selection criteria. The first option we have under the selection tab is choosing the entities that we would like Practicad to use when we go to run this automatic. Here you can see that its fitting is currently highlighted. However, if we click on this bar, you're going to get a drop down menu of every entity in the software. We can either scroll down to the entity we would like to use or we can click on the bar, hit the first letter of the entity we want to jump to. In this particular case, we're going to hit T for tag, and now Practicad will go to the options for tags. You will notice that the options for tags, fittings, and all other entities are different, so there will be separate tutorials on each type. To start, we're going to go over the options for fittings. Fitting options happen to be the most commonly used. All the parameters you see here from interactive selection to current selection are usually the first criteria in each automatic you will design. So we're going to cover these first. The first option we're going to go over is the interactive selection. Whenever we choose interactive selection, Practicad will let us run the automatic first, which is usually started by pressing the OK button, and then it's going to ask us to choose our entities afterwards. This is different than current selection, which would be done in reverse. Here we would select our entities first, and then run the automatic. What we're going to do is go to Interactive Selection, we're going to press OK. When we do that, you'll notice that in the command line it says, please select the fitting, and now we'd select the fitting we'd like to apply this automatic to. That's how Interactive Selection would work. The next option is going to be Duck Line All. If we go over here and we check Duck Line All, when we hit the OK button, Practicad is going to ask us to select the fitting. And the fitting we choose, Practicad is going to highlight all of the duck line associated or connected to that fitting. Here we're going to press OK. We're going to click on this fitting on the drawing. When we click on it, notice that it highlights the entire duck line just by clicking one fitting. So duck line all highlights the entire duck line based on whatever entity you click on. If we go to duck line from two, Practicad is going to ask us for two points, from point A to point B. Here we're going to press OK. It says please select the fitting. We click once. Then it says please select the fitting in the command line. Again, we now click twice. And here you can see that it only highlights the fittings between point A and point B. The next option is going to be to choose duck line forward. Duck line forward means we pick a point and Practicad will take that point and then run down the duck line forward. Here we're going to press OK. Now we're going to click on the second fitting on the line. Practicad will highlight it from this point forward. The reverse of that would be duck line backwards. Here what we're going to do is go to duck line backwards. We're going to press OK. We're going to be prompted to select a fitting. We're going to click on the elbow. This time it's going to run from the duck line backwards. Whenever we dictate forward and backwards, forward means from the in connector to the out connector and backwards would be the reverse of that, from out connector to in connector. The next option is going to be all drawing. If we choose all drawing, Practicad is just going to highlight all of the selection criteria on the drawing. If we press OK here, because we've chosen fittings, all the fittings on the drawing will be highlighted. And the last option is current selection. Current selection is actually the most widely used selection criteria in all of the automatics, especially in the Practicad default data. Current selection allows us to isolate an area, and then you go to run an automatic, and it chooses the entities in that area based on whatever you already have selected. So when you choose current selection, it means you should have already highlighted entities on the drawing, and then you go to run your automatic, and it'll choose everything inside that window that meets the criteria of your selection automatic or any other automatic. 
So here what we're going to do is we're going to press OK, and it's only going to apply our selection criteria to the duct that was highlighted. The next choice to choose for your selection criteria is whether or not you'd like to run an automatic to select the duct line with its branches, the duct line only or main trunk line only without branches, or just the branches themselves. These options are not always applicable. For example, if you click on current selection, you'll notice that it's currently grayed out. Current selection means we would have already highlighted the fittings or entities on the drawing we wanted to apply the automatic to, therefore we don't need to pick any additional criteria. However, if we go to choose a selection criteria like select duck line forward, Practicad gives you the option to choose the duck line forward with its branches, the duck line only, or branches only. Here we're going to run duck line with branches. We're going to press OK. We're going to be prompted to select a fitting. When we select a fitting, it runs down the main trunk line and also highlights the branches as well. Next, we're going to run just duck line only. We're just going to change the option from line with branches to duck line only, and this should highlight just the main trunk line. We're going to press OK. We're prompted to select a fitting. Here you can see that Practicab will only highlight the main trunk line. And last, we're going to do the reverse. Instead of highlighting the main trunk line, we're going to say just highlight the branches. So here we would choose branches only. Now if we run the automatic, we click on the first fitting, the branches are highlighted, but the main trunk line stays the same. So we can choose between these three options when running duck line selection autos. The Select from Cross Section option allows us to highlight entities on our main drawing by selecting the entity's cross section. For example, here on the drawing we've got a cross section taken and put off to the right. If this was a busy drawing and I'd like to isolate the entities associated with this cross section, I could click on the cross section which is always highlighted as one entity in Practicad. I can come into my selection auto button and I can choose to highlight an entity. In this particular case, it will be the fittings without tags. And we're going to say the current selection, but select from cross section. So what that means is highlight the fittings on the drawing based on the currently selected cross section. When I press OK, you can see that Practicad highlights all the fittings that were associated to this particular cross section. So it's a quick way of getting a hold of entities on the main drawing that we took cross sections of. This feature is also used during auto tagging automatics. The last section under the selection tab is to choose your advanced conditions for selecting fittings on duck lines. Currently what we've had it on in all the tutorial thus far is we've been running a duck line forward automatic, we have duck line with branches checked, and we've always had the always button checked. This option, when checked, means select all the fittings on the line at all times. However, we can also choose the option when there is a change in. This option allows us to select fittings on the duck line only when specific changes happen. Currently we have four options, size, direction, elevation, and top bottom. Underneath these particular options, we also have the ability to choose previous fitting, selected fitting, or next fitting. To start demonstrating, we're going to say let's select fittings on the duck line forward. We want to do the duck line with branches, but instead of using always, we're going to say only highlight the fittings when there's a change in, and we're going to select size. Now notice here we're going to say only select the selected fittings. What this means is when there's a change in size at that specific fitting or the selected fitting, the point at which the size change happens, that fitting and that fitting only should be highlighted on this duck line. So we're going to press OK. Practicad says highlight the duck line forward. And here you can see before we click on the first piece, we've got a duck line with a transition. We have an elbow. And then we have a duck line turning up. And we're going to click on the beginning of the duck line. 
And Practicad is only highlighting places where there's a change in size. You can see that the transition, there's a change in size. You can see there's a change in size at the boot tap because the boot tap happens to be a smaller segment of this branch. The last section under the selection tab is choosing the difference between the always option and when there is a change in. Thus far, the entire tutorial, we've been utilizing the feature always. What that means is if we choose a selection criteria like duck line forward, and we've done it for fittings, we want to select the fittings on that line always, regardless of any change the duck line might make. However, we have advanced options where we can select fittings on a particular duck line when there's a change of a specific type. In order to do that, we're going to select the option when there is a change in. When we do that, we get to choose between four different types of changes currently. We have size, direction, elevation, and top bottom. Underneath that category, we also have the ability to choose between previous fitting, selected fitting, or next fitting. First, we're going to say, let's highlight a duck line forward, but only highlight the fittings on the duck line where there is a change in size. And what we're going to do is choose the option selected. Selected means the fitting at which the size change happens. Previous or next would be select the fitting before the size change or select the fitting after the size change. We're going to run this automatic once using size and selected. We're going to press OK. Practicad is going to ask us to select a fitting at the beginning of the duck line. We're saying duck line forward. Here you can see the duck line consists of a transition. We have a boot tap. We have a drop cheek elbow. And then we have a duck line running up as notated on the right hand side. We're going to select duck line forward now. When we do that, notice that the only fittings highlighted are fittings where change sizes happen. For example, the transition. We have a change of size at the boot tap because the branch got smaller. This is a drop cheek elbow. The depth has been shortened after the elbow. So this is where a size break happens. And you can also see that we have an elbow on the right. And because the depth has switched on this elbow, we went from what was around a 36 by 18 to about a 30 by 30 on the out. We've also highlighted the elbow. And because we've chosen the option selected, Practicat has highlighted only the point at which the change happened. So each fitting that causes a size change has been selected. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the selection tab. This time we're going to say let's not do change in size. Let's do change in direction. This time we're going to say change in direction and we're going to run selected. We're going to press OK. We click on the beginning of the duck line and you'll notice that the only places that cause changes in direction in this particular case is going to be at the elbows. So you can see that only the elbows on the duck line. We have chosen selected fittings. So what that means is at the fitting that the direction change happens, we should highlight it. So currently we only have two elbows. However, we're going to change the exact same selection auto to do previous and next. Here we're going to say, let's do previous, uncheck selected, and do next. What that means is let's go to where the direction change happens, but instead of highlighting the fitting at the direction change or the selected fitting, highlight the fitting before and after. Notice you can have more than one checked at a time. We're going to press OK. We're going to select the beginning of the duck line. Now notice that Practicat highlights the fittings before and after the direction change. So on the isometric view, you can see it's the fitting before this elbow and after this elbow. And then it's going to be the fitting before and after this elbow. So this is how we can use a combination of changes plus choosing between previous, selected, and next. Now we're going to run over the option for elevation changes. Here we're going to say run when there's a change in elevation. And this time we're going to choose selected fitting again. We're going to uncheck previous and next. We're going to press OK. 
And now we're going to click on the beginning of the duck line. Now notice the practice cat is going to highlight the transition because there's been a change. The transition is actually dipping down as notated by the elevation tags here. And then we're going to have an elevation change at the elbow. The elbow is drop cheek. So though the bottom is the same, you can see there's a change in the top elevation. Here it's 11 foot before the elbow. Here it's 10 foot 8 after the elbow. And you can see in the isometric view that we go up into a riser. And right here you can see that each one of these fittings has a change in elevation because they're vertical. Therefore, each fitting was highlighted during that selection auto. Now what we're going to do is run the last scenario we have currently. That is top bottom. If we choose this, it doesn't apply specifically to elevation changes. It's only going to apply specifically to fittings that will have a change in top or bottom. So if we press OK, and then we choose the beginning of this duck line, you'll notice that it highlights the transition and elbows because they both have top changes and bottom changes. And you'll also notice that Practicad currently will also highlight regular elbows if in fact they're turned in a direction going up or down. So top bottom will usually be fittings that have the top bottom center change, offset center change parameters or if the elbows turn up and down. Here you'll see that the rectangular duck was not highlighted. There are no top bottom changes for the rectangular duck. And most importantly, the fitting itself starts in a different elevation, as opposed to the elbow here, which comes at one elevation and finishes off at another. So there's a slight difference between those two options. Most of the time, you can choose either one, and it would work just fine. So that will conclude the selection tab parameters. The second tab we're going to cover under the selection automatics is the condition tab. Now the condition tab here is exactly the same mechanism as we have all over the software. We've done tutorials going over the Practicad layer mechanism. We show some of this in cataloging. You're going to see the conditions virtually everywhere. However, we're going to go over them again in the selection tab. Basically, the condition set allows us to refine our selection automatic. Currently, under the selection tab, we're going to say select fittings, duck line forward. Now, what we're going to do is say what fittings we want to be selected. Currently, there's nothing checked up here in this box. We're going to say that when we highlight duck line forward, we only want to get transitions and elbows. Notice we've left rectangular duct or straight duct. All of the choices here happen to be blank. So we're going to hit this little key and shrink it. But this selection auto is only going to highlight duct line forward fittings and only the ones that are checked. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press the OK button. Practicad says in the command line to please select a fitting. We click to trigger off duct line forward. But instead of highlighting the entire duct line, Practicad only highlights the entities that were selected. In this particular case, it's going to be fittings that are transitions or elbows. Besides just allowing you to select the entities that Practicad is going to use during a selection automatic, you can also choose to refine that selection process by using conditions. For example, we'd like to highlight the duck line forward as represented here on the selection tab, fittings. So we're going to highlight fittings duck line forward. And then under conditions, we choose to only highlight rectangular straight duct. So Practicad is not going to select any other fittings on this line, with the exception of the ones that are checked here. Happens to be the rectangular straight duct. However, if we would like to refine this selection criteria even further, we can utilize the condition tab. Here we have the two choices for include and exclude from selection set. We can say, based on these conditions, everything that meets these conditions should be included in the selection set, or based on these conditions, everything should be excluded from selection set. In this tutorial, we're going to say to include in the selection set all rectangular duct, but we're going to add the condition to only select duct where the length is greater than 24 inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the drop down menu here and Practicad is going to list every property in the software pertaining to that entity. And we're going to hit L to jump to the L parameters and then we're going to scroll down until we get to the parameter length. 
Now remember, whenever you go to choose parameters, be very careful to make sure you're choosing the proper one for the entity you're using. Length and length between straights could be used dependent upon the fitting. Diameter in looks very much like the property damper in. So always double check and be very careful when selecting your properties for conditions. Here we're going to select length. Then we're going to say length when greater than 24 inches. So we only want duct on the drawing that has a length greater than 24 inches. Now we're going to hit the condition box and check it. There are tutorials or quick tips underneath the Practicad layer mechanism that explain why you want this checked sometimes and other times you don't. 99% of the time this is checked and the basic is in the logic. When checked, the length property has to be defined on the fitting we're using or this automatic will not work. So what we're going to do is we're going to say select rectangular duct, duct line forward only when the length is greater than 24 inches. We're now going to press OK. We're going to be prompted to pick the beginning of the duct line. We're going to click once. And now Practicat has highlighted just rectangular duct. No other fittings on the drawing, but notice that it did not select the rectangular duct here because the length is 24 inches. And the condition we put into it was select duct line forward rec duct but length must be greater than 24 inches so utilizing the conditions we can also refine our selection criteria this condition is used in virtually every automatic so it's very important to understand how it works to continue forward with other tutorials on automatics of different types the last tab we're going to go over in the selection automatics is the parameters tab the parameters tab has three basic sections. The first section is going to be whether or not we like to highlight the entity we've chosen under selection. In this particular tutorial, it's going to be fittings. And whether we'd like to highlight those entities without their tags, with their tags, or just their tags, which means Practicad would let go of the entity itself, like the fitting, and only highlight the tags inside or associated with that particular entity. For example, here what we're going to do is say, let's run it without tags. We've got selection, fittings, duck line forward. As far as conditions, we're going to say, highlight the entire Practicam single wall library. So we've got it set for without tags. We press OK. We run duck line forward. And you can see that the tags themselves are not highlighted. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run the same automatic, but this time we're going to say with tags. So here we're going to check with tags. We're going to press OK. We're going to select the duct line. And now you can see the Practicad is grabbing the fitting entity plus all the tags associated with it. And the last option would be tags only. Here we're going to go into the auto selection. We're going to choose to do tags only. And now we're going to press OK and run the automatic again. Here you can see the Practicad doesn't highlight the fittings but it highlights the tags associated with the fittings. So this can be used whenever you want to get a hold of just the tags associated to specific entities. The second part in the parameters tab is to choose between the options to append to current selection set or replace current selection set. Append current selection set basically means that if we've got something already highlighted on the drawing, we want to add the new selection to the existing one. For example, we're going to check append to current selection set and we're going to press OK. Notice that we already have a second duct line on our drawing highlighted. So when we go to run the new selection automatic, notice that Practicat adds this selection automatic to the existing one or it appends to the current selection set. However, if we were to run the same thing using replace, it will replace the existing selection set with the new one. Here what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the selection tab. We're going to go here and choose replace current selection. We're going to press OK. And now we've got one duck line highlighted. But when we go to click duck line forward here, Practicat lets go or replaces the existing selection. So we only have one. So you can choose between having your selection automatics append or replace. The last option under the parameters tab in the auto selection section 
is the option for save selection set as and open selection from. Now this is actually a very advanced option and the main purpose of these features was to have Practicad during the course of an Ultimatic reselect entities that were let go by AutoCAD during that procedure. There are separate tutorials on designing Ultimatics and we will go over this section again there in greater detail. Currently to conclude this tutorial what we're going to do is show you the basic function of these two options. What we're going to do is we're going to exit out of the auto select for a minute. We're just going to highlight three fittings here with their tags and then we're going to highlight three fittings here as well. And notice we've got tags and duct highlighted. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the auto selection tool and we're going to run a selection automatic but this time we're going to incorporate these features. The selection automatic we're going to run is going to say let's use fittings, currently selected fittings, which currently is only six on a drawing. And we're going to say for parameters, let's highlight the fittings without tags. But what we're going to say is when we run this automatic this one time, we want to save the selection set as, and we're going to give it a name. And here we're going to name it PCAD duct. What this means is when we run this selection automatic, Practicat is going to retain in its memory that whatever's highlighted during this automatic will be associated with the name PCAD duct so that we can then open that selection set later on. For example, we're going to press OK. You can see that Practicat runs a selection automatic. It highlighted the fittings that were currently selected and it did it without tags. Now, once I hit escape, and Practicat has let go of those fittings. Because I said to save selection set as and gave it a name, PCAD duct, as long as I don't run a selection set with that name again, for as long as I work in my drawing, Practicat is going to remember that selection set under that name. So I could come in here and we can draw another entire duct line or continue working. But if I would like to re highlight, those entities based on the selection set name we can come into the auto selection button and we can say let's highlight the whole drawing let's do the parameters without tags so we're going to say highlight all the fittings on the entire drawing but instead of save selection set we're going to say open selection from and we're going to put PCAT duct in there and what it's going to do is it's going to go into its memory bank and it's going to reopen or reselect all of the fittings that were last saved under the selection set with that name. So when we press OK, you can see that Practicad re-highlighted the six fittings we highlighted before. Once again, the main purpose of this will become very clear when you go to design long Ultimatics and you need Practicad to re-highlight entities in the middle of those Ultimatics. This tutorial is just going to show you the basic functionality. It is also going to conclude the auto selection section.